Okay, welcome back to the podcast. So we are nearing the start. We are nearing the time when it's the holiday period, the Easter holiday period. And so I thought I would just share with you. You might be thinking, like me, you're heading off for for Easter break and sort of for a chance to go away with the family. And you think, oh, I need a book to to read or listen to while I'm away. And of course, you're going to listen to my podcast. Of course, you are. But if you're thinking, actually, well, I'd be interested in some other inspiration. I'm going to share with you today in a really simple, short podcast. Eight books I've recently bought, and um, by the time you listen to this, I'll probably bought another eight. I'm an avid book listener, a reader, so I'm a big believer that we learn stuff every day if we put our mind to it. But there are eight books that I've learned that I'm going to recommend that you have a little look at as well, and a read of, and a listen to. So um, here they are, and let's uh, talk about them. So number one, the, the book that I'm literally listening to right now uh, is called The 5am Club by a guy called Robin Sharma. My good friend Matt Garman recommended it to me. And I love the book. It's all around the 5am club is how you can basically own, if you own your morning, you own your day. It's a brilliant story. I'll let you uh, listen to it to to find out more. But it's got a number of uh, insights into what we need to do as human beings to achieve our best life. And the reality is, it's all about being more productive and making sure we own certain times of the day. And the 5am club is a great way to do that. So I highly recommend it. Robin Sharma as a book to start with. Uh, book number two that I'm listening to at the moment, uh, or I've been listening to, is a book called The Conversion Code by a guy called Chris Smith. So Chris Smith, um, we're doing quite a lot of work on landing pages and new pages for courses that I'm launching. And Chris Smith uh, wrote The Conversion Code uh, about 2017. So the book's probably a little bit old, but it's actually got some great insights on how you can um, develop landing pages and campaigns that deliver sales results. And I'm always keen to make sure I'm learning so I can pass those learnings on to our clients, but also to achieve for myself. So the conversion code by Chris uh, Smith is all on how you can set up websites and landing pages to develop leads and win leads, and then how you can turn those leads into sales activity. So the conversion code by Chris Smith. So book number three is a book called Willpower by Roy Bowminster. Bowminster, B-O-U-M-E-I-S-T-E-R, Bowminster. There you go. Uh, why am I buying? Why have I bought this book? Because willpower is, I think, probably one of the things that, may, like many people, I wish I had more of. Um, I see some nice things, and sometimes I have a cake and eat it, and I wish I had more willpower. Never look. Willpower. I think the more and more I've read over time, the more and more I've understood around the human psyche and how incredibly, yeah, incredibly inspirational, successful people achieve their their successes in their world is they've got incredible discipline and willpower. And uh, I want to build mine, so uh, I want to learn more about how I can become even more able to adapt and adjust and improve myself to be able to achieve more things so um that's why i booked that i bought that book but the next book is a an interesting book by a girl called jim schlexer which is called great ceos are lazy and what i think the first one yeah the things that i'm learning are telling me that a the great people will be disciplined and show willpower but the other key thing that they will do is they'll then put in place great systems and structures and, and models that can basically replicate what they do when they're not there. And for me, you know, this great well, great CEOs are lazy is all around how you can delegate and how you can make sure that you've got the right structures in place to achieve results on a consistent basis without you having to do that work. Now, I don't think actually CEOs are lazy. People put in a lot of time. But a lot of it, the, the elements of what I think I know need to do in my businesses is to put structures and systems that enable things to work while I'm busy doing other stuff. Um, b- b- book number five is $100 million, um, $100 million Leads by Alex Hormozy. Alex Hormozy is a really interesting guy. Have a look at his podcasts and his videos and his blogs. And his, he runs a company called Acquisition.com. A muscly guy. Um, wears shorts on stage. Um, you know, doesn't give a shit whatever people think about him, which I love. Um, he wrote a book around 100 million leads and how he's grown his profile to to generate a 100 million pound business. Uh, it's a great book that gives you some insights into how to generate leads for your company and your business. And invariably, in business, we want more leads and we want to convert more of them. Now, I'm really good at being able to help people convert more of those leads. He's an expert at helping people generate the leads. He's also an expert at helping you sell as well. But um, th- those are the things that, um, from my perspective, that I think is key. So Alex Hormozzi, 100 million leads. $100 million leads, I should say. Uh, book number six is a book by a guy called Dr. Jonah Berger called Magic Words. I'm fascinated around behavioral economics. If you've been listening to me or following me for a while, around what people say or do or the way the brain operates and what we makes us do certain things. And Magic Words is a great book because it basically talks around certain words and how certain words have an impact on the way we operate and do things. And it's a book I've really enjoyed listening to. I'm trying to make sure I include more of those words in the 
podcasts and the things that I do. Um, maybe you'll hear some of those come through if you read the book yourself. But uh, that's a book by Dr. Jonah Berger called Magic Words. Book number seven is a, a book called Endure by Cameron Haynes. Now, Cameron Haynes is, uh, I'm a, as you again may know, I'm a big believer in our mindsets and pushing our minds to achieve great things is how we can become stronger and able to deal with whatever life throws at us. Cameron Haynes is, some people don't like him because he's a bow hunter. So he does, and I'm not a big fan of this, I'll be honest with you, he does a lot of shooting and with a with a bow, not shooting as in, he, he puts these big um, archery bows and, and shoots, uh, people, not shoots people, but shoots animals in, in uh, the US. But the point around Cameron Haynes is that he is a, focused on how again this discipline and he's he's just he's a friend of david goggins and if ever you've heard me talk i i talk a lot about david goggins's books i would always recommend can't hurt me and never finish this will be on your reading list if you want to build mental strength and the ability to overcome situations but cameron haynes and duo is all around go through challenge to overcome and to get the results you want and so it's a book that i've enjoyed listening to and then the final book is a book called No, The Only Negotiating System You Need for Work and Home. Now, this is written by a guy called Jim Camp, and it's a very old book. It's probably in the 1975, 75, 80. Jim Camp was, um, very few people would know who Jim Camp was, but he was one of the early uh, incredible business mentors that, you know, people think of Simon Sinek and Tony Robbins. Jim Camp, I think, was either Jim, Tony Robbins' personal coach, or he was involved in, he learned a lot from him. And what he talks around in this book is how we all as human beings say the word yes too often, but actually we've got to get more comfortable saying the word no. And he, he does a book based upon um, why you should say no, linked to your vision and your mission, what you're trying to achieve, and why actually when you say no, it can make other things happen for you. So those are the, the eight books that are currently on my um, reading list and listing list. And I thought I'd just share those with you just in case you might think, hey, I'd be interested to listen to one of those over the Easter holidays while I'm going away or I'm taking some time out with family or loved ones. Uh, I'm a big believer, as I've always said, reading we helps us learn, we help, we encourage, we, 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 we develop, we, ed- we educate ourselves, we become better human beings as a result of it. So those are the eight books that I think are, um, are, are, are in, in my reading list at the moment. Like I say, by the time you listen to it, there'll probably be another eight or five, or well, probably at least another five or six that I will buy on a regular basis. I'm continually buying books because I have this one view on a book. If I can learn one nugget or one insight or one bit of information, then it's been worthwhile listening. So if I can learn that one nugget, it's, it's worthwhile. So um, have a listen to some of those books. Have a read of them. I'm sure they can help you as they're helping me um, become a better human being, do achieve more and, and, and get what we want to from business and life. So, um, so, so those are the eight books. Need to create a sales plan, but just not sure how? As of today, nearly 64,000 people have watched my video on how to create the perfect sales plan and over 2,000 love it and what it can do for your, their business. So I'm creating a course that's specifically about helping people like you create a sales plan that's going to get you to the sales success you want. Interested to find out more? Want to know what it looks like? Keen to put that plan in place? Register at the link below and let's get you started on helping put in place a sales plan to make your business skyrocket. I finished with an inspirational story on the podcast. I want to share a story. Um, I'm, I do love, I'm, I, I do love, I find TikTok quite interesting and helpful with some great stories, information there. Uh, by the way, if you're not um, following me on TikTok, please feel free to have a look at James White Sales. But there's a guy called Niall Harbison. Um, he's called Happy Doggo. And he's a guy in um, Thailand who uh, basically feeds stray dogs. And basically, Niall will say that he um, had a drug and alcohol addiction. He was on um, prescription drugs. And he basically felt like the world was just going to shit for him completely. And um, he decided to move to Thailand and basically now feeds these dogs. And you watch him on his little moped and he literally drives around Thailand feeding these stray dogs. And these dogs are so happy to see him because they're getting fed. And it did make me think, you know, in the UK here, you know, you'd never see that. And it just sees you how in other countries you've got all these dogs that aren't being cared for. But anyway, the, point, the reason I love that is there's an inspirational story of a man who went through some tough times but is now inspiring and, and making bringing joy for so many people around the world. He's got like nearly 700,000 TikTok followers, but he's helping those dogs and he's helping him. So it's a, it's a win. He's he's growing a profile um, and really inspiring other people and making them feel happy. He's helping those dogs and he's helping himself. So great triumvirate of uh, a way to think about it. And inspirational stories like Niles are to me, again, 
what makes the the world go round is how people find in whatever way they find help and support. Um, he's found it in helping feed stray dogs because the love and affection they give him. But to me, that's just an inspiration that we can all achieve what we want to um, if we want to focus on what it is we do and what matters to us. And in the end, he wasn't cared. He wasn't bothered about life and riches and all the things that um, maybe we, we think too much about in this country. He was focused on um, the things that made him happy. And that's why he goes and feeds the dogs and good on him. It inspires me. But I hope it's inspired you. So that, that's it for this week's edition of the podcast, the short one. Hope you've enjoyed. Those are the eight books. Let me know, please, in the comments section below. Which other book should I be reading? Have you got a book recommendation for me? Please let me know. Uh, if it's not one that I've read already uh, or listened to already, then I'll add it to my list. And I may even do it, you know, it's, it's share it with some other people as well in time so we can all learn more from each other. But that's it for this week for the edition of the podcast. Thanks again for listening and give me your ears. Please review and recommend it. Share it with other people so we can get more inspiration, more ideas out to more people to help them get the results they want. Until next week, see you then. Take care.